Hello, welcome back to another video of OPG's Biology. In the previous video, I have discussed about one of the exception of Mendel's law that is the incomplete dominance. And in this video, I am going to discuss about another exception of Mendel's law that is the co-dominance. Co means together. And the name co-dominance suggests that there is dominance of two alleles of a gene. Means the alleles do not show dominance recessive relationship. Means there is no alleles are dominant over any other allele. Here both the alleles of a gene express themselves in heterozygotes. Means in the heterozygotes the alleles are expressing together. Therefore the phenotype of the offspring will be the combination of the phenotypes of their parents. For example, the coat color of short horn cattle shows co-dominance. If you cross two cattle, one is of red coat color and another one is of white coat color, then you will get no intermediate coat color. You will get a coat color which is called the roan means here in this roan coat red and white hair occur in definite patches but no hair has intermediate color of red and white so now let's look at the cross so the red coat color is denoted by the allele CACA and the white coat color is denoted by the allele CBCB. So from these two alleles we are getting the gametes CA from CACA and CB from CBCB. Then in the F1 generation we will get the heterozygote CACB which is showing the phenotype of roan coat color. So if we produce the checkerboard of F2 generation then we will get 1 CSEA, 2 CSEB and 1 CBCB. Means here we are getting 1 cattle of red coat color, 2 cattle of roan coat color and 1 cattle of white coat color so the genotypic ratio will be 1 is to 2 is to 1 as we are getting 1 CSEA 2 CSEB and 1 CBCB and also the phenotypic ratio will be 1 is to 2 is to 1 as we are getting 1 cattle of red coat color 1 cattle of roan coat color and 1 cattle of white coat color so here is the presence of co-dominance when the alleles are in heterozygote and from here we can understand that the genotypic ratio and the phenotypic ratio in co-dominance and the genotypic ratio and the phenotypic ratio in incomplete dominance are same means they are equals to 1 is to 2 is to 1. And now the blood group antigens of man present excellent examples of co-dominance. One of the most widely known earliest recognized human blood group is the ABO blood group. And these blood groups arise due to the presence of an antigen on the surface of RBC. These antigens are produced by the gene I and this I gene has three types of alleles. One is IA, another is IB and the last one is the small i or the IO gene. 
one dominant allele of this gene is Ia which produces antigen A and this gives rise to the blood group A and another dominant allele of gene I is the IB which produces antigen B that is responsible for the blood group B. If the IA gene is present in the homozygotic condition, mean IA, IA, this gives rise to the blood group A. And for IB, if they are in homozygotic condition, they will give rise the blood group B. And now, if these two alleles, IA and IB, are present together means they are in heterozygotic conditions mean IA IB this will give rise to the blood group AB and this is the example of codominance here the two dominant alleles are expressing together but if IA and IO will present together then they will give rise to the blood group A as IA is more dominant than IO and if IB and IO will present together they will give rise to the blood group B and if the two alleles IO and IO will present together then they will give rise to the blood group O. I will discuss about ABO blood group in details in the video of multiple allele. So, I have discussed about the co-dominance and its examples. I think it is all for understanding co-dominance. So, thank you for watching the video. Please like the video and share the video. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. We'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.